Okay, Ben here again, and we got another classic game today. This one is for Key. We're gonna beat that damn down for you. So, Becky coming, Ninja Den, or the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES and Famicom. And as I'm sure you know, Donatello's the strongest character. Ah, uh, that's to compensate for the slow speed of the bow, most likely. Raphael's the second strongest, probably to compensate for the lack of range. Although Mikey uh, doesn't have a similar damage boost. Although I think most of them can take out flyers in one hit. Ignore that. Go, go, go. Ignore that. Take damage. Unlike normal. Whatever. Remember, you can stab up and down, which is pretty cool. And you can stink it up like I'm doing. Oh, we're already at uh, our first boss here, so. Now see, Donnie's got some decent range. He can uh, attack behind him. I think Leonardo can too. Uh, there goes Rocksteady. Hmm, I wonder who the final boss is. Yeah, watch those rollers. They're a one-hit kill. Uh, okay. I suppose if you absolutely need to, you can use it as a pizza restation. Huh? Refill station. Uh, what is it? You Can Beat Video Games has a pretty good video up about beating the game. He's got the best technique for Shredder, that's for sure. I would not follow him into the spike rooms in the Technodrome if you know what's good for you. Uh, instead, on the scrolls on stage five where he tells you to and then go up at the ladder and yeah I mean you'll have to use scrolls and go it'll take some time to get through the Technic Dome the long way but it's much safer and yeah. Actually, those sub-weapons are decent to have until you reach the farming area in Stage 5. But once you do, just you know, don't even bother. Oh, that's not good. Ah, that's a good point. Remember that your turtles get stronger the more damage they take. So once you hit half, uh, and these guys are pretty easy. You hit them once and they'll start jumping in place. Make sure you semi-stun lock them. And don't forget that... Uh... The enemies have, uh, whatchamacallit, invincibility frames in this game. That's one thing that's not very good. Of course, everybody knows the Donatello Rocksteady trick here. Uh, if it hits. <laughs> and second now alright he was in a half shell thank you you helped me uh, the foot's gonna blow up the dam it's really dangerous okay oh wow so yeah, I don't know what causes the enemy spawns or... Because they have sort of random... Random enemies. It's really strange. It's been recommended that you keep one of the weaker ones on screen. So... You maintain the current set. 
as long as you can. If they are the Foot Clan like this, uh, and we got half a pizza there, sweet. Oh, boomerangs. Don't really need those, but uh, okay. And if you just tap the jump button, you'll get the uh, the safe jump. If you hold it, then you get the spin jump. Infamous spin jump, depending on who you talk to. Okay, not so hard. That kind of sucked. Now see, that jump is the same height as some of the other jumps. So theoretically, you should be able to get that easily, but I don't know. The game's weird, what can I say? This jump, however, you cannot make. And I think it's because it's a multi-block thing. If it were a little bit thinner, you could probably clip through, like, stage three. Which I'm sure you've heard about on the nerd. Now... I see, those normally take two hits to kill with Leo, but... Okay... Uh, why not? Pizza time! Okay, and again we're going through these old hit me because they take more than one hit because I got full life now. Well, almost full life. Punk. Okay, here this is one of the worst jumps in the game, but uh, you want to get a full start and not do that. Go backwards. Somehow I knew I would think that the first time. Yeah, getting hit on ladders sucks here. If you get hit on the stairs in Castlevania, you actually stay put, so... I mean, you don't want to get hit, but... It would be much better to get hit on the, those stairs than... Okay, yep, running jump, full jump. Uh, bonk your head on the ceiling and go kill the two foot soldiers Switch to I don't know Mikey and we're gonna beat the dam The damn dam get revenge for key Even though I did beat this the other day the whole game Okay, that one's quick. Uh, you can just tank these if you got enough turtles Save time. I mean there's plenty of time to do it. I've done it with at least 40 seconds many 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 times Uh, I like to get this one first. You can loop around from the right side, but why bother? Uh, as long as you remember to come back this way and get this one. So I think one of those two is one of the first ones people have the most trouble with because you get one and then you forget to loop back. Uh, just avoid the seaweed. Avoid that spinning thing. That's the only one you'll see. So, you know, once you're past that, you don't need to worry about that electricity again if you wanna there's a refill semi refill station after okay get this one too don't forget that that's one of the problems I noticed with this game is the scrolling like you have to get really far to the left before the uh, screen starts to move okay switch out taking too much damage there cuz I'm uh, rushing things come on I'll wait for this. Uh, what? But yeah, I mean, look how far to the right I am before it scrolls. And like, most games are usually when you're in the middle. Forget it. I'll just go. Let's see. So we've got one, two bombs left and over a minute. So it should be no problem. Unless I get swallowed by the instant death seaweed. And hopefully we're still recording. Uh, okay, yeah, it's better to take a hit on top than get touched by that and drag down and lose an entire turtle Especially since you've taken so many hits and there's no pizza stations and that should be it 
Heroes on a half shell. And about 10 minutes, you've cleared the first two stages. Easy. Tadaima. <laughs> I'm home. Turtles, listen well. I am Shredder. Actually, I didn't read the bottom line because I was <laughs> checking something else, but I have your master now. If you want him back, clear the next area. <laughs> okay, and since we do have a little bit of extra time on this video, uh, okay, yeah, apparently Splinter is April's father in the Japanese version. Go figure that. You get your pea shooter here with A in the turtle van. Uh, B is for missiles, which we're about to get. Uh, why? Oh, I didn't really want to do that, did I? Yeah, don't mess with... Oh, boy. Try not to mess with those guys. Unless you absolutely have to. But yeah, enemies with iframes. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, so here's your first half sli uh, quarter slice. Uh, so again, you can just uh, go in and out, refill as you like. But uh, before you start spamming that one, you'll want to come over and... You know, one, another one of the famous nerd parts of the video. Oh, boy. Get those missiles. <laughs> First try, beautiful. So, yeah, make sure you're uh, sort of on the door enough to hit left and clip over. I'm just gonna... Oops. That's okay. We want to get rid of that guy anyway. Wow, two for two. Okay, that's... Pretty cool, but okay. Uh, if you get this pattern, you can just ignore that first wave entirely. If you get those guys, they will go up and attack you. So come over here, get your full pizza, and lather, rinse, repeat until all your turtles are full. Now, how the map works, I, you may or may not know, is uh, well, this map's not as kind. Area four is the worst. Uh, just find the pattern online and and go through the correct sequence. Uh, if you go through 12, there's only one instant death pit. And uh, that's right at the very end. So that's the safest route. Was it 3, 6, 8? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, uh, 12. Then maybe 15, 17, something like that. Uh, you can go through 13 to pick up a turtle if they've died and been captured. So, but that's just in and out. That's really easy. Uh, I don't know where the turtles are. I think the turtles are somewhere over here for the rescue. But uh, yeah, this is the missile station. This is scrolls. Don't bother with that uh, until stage five. Because, again, you could die. Uh, something could happen. You waste all that time farming. Just farm your life. Ignore those two completely. Go all the way around. Do, 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 do. Uh, you'll need... At least 20 missiles, because uh, you need to destroy the what steamrollers and the barricades. Go through here, you'll end up here. Go through, or one of those two. Oh no, in the sewers. Well, yeah, but you end up here, and then you fight the boss, and then you're on area four again. One, two, three, six, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, seventeen. Uh, you fight Mouser because 17 leads directly to 18, so I don't even count that, but. Uh, that's an easy fight. Stand in the middle with Donnie and just shoot the bow up whenever he opens his mouth. Then you're on to Area 5. Area 5 is actually not that bad as far as the map goes. You've got A in the middle. This is Area 5. Uh, that's your pizza station. Just go with the first floor only. Uh, both Raph and Donnie can take out the spiders in one hit. That's what you want. B is up there. 
Uh, that's where you farm your scrolls. Again, you kill all the spiders. Uh, you go up on the third ladder or third climbing thing. I did that and almost every time it only spawns two, two spiders. So if you got Raph, you just hold up, you hit those two. It's an easy climb to the scroll. Get about 60 for each of your turtles. You could get him with Dawn, but he's got the bow. Uh, it might be a little bit faster, so. But get as many as you need. I recommend 60 for each. Uh, and then check C first for the Technodrome. It's the shortest route there. And the fewest enemies. Uh, if the Technodrome is not there because it can spawn in three locations, which sucks. Uh, then, like you'll have to fight your way out. Be sure to make use of your pizza station in Area 5. Uh, then you check D. That's the next easiest one, I think. And if the Technodrome is not there, refill again. Go all the way over to E. And then you'll find the Technodrome. And you can tear it up with scrolls. Tear it up with the bow. You know, whatever you like. And then, yeah, the Technodrome. Again, just uh, keep your health up. Use your scrolls the whole time. There are a couple of pizzas if you get lucky or know where to go. But, uh, yeah, once you get to the death corridor, that's all you need to worry about. Because uh, just spam the scrolls. Two scrolls will take out the flying laser dudes. Uh, and when it scrunches down and there's just the one in front of you, you know, as many people say, just duck. He'll fly back, despawn, move up slowly, and then scroll or bow the, the whirly flying things. And then you will have to fight one laser dude for sure as the mini boss before Shredder. Uh, jump on the right platform, knock Shredder off to the left, jump up to the middle platform, and then whenever he tries to jump up, just knock him back with the bow or knock him back with the scrolls, depending on your turtles. Boom. Easy. Uh, final boss is much easier, actually, than that death corridor. So, yeah, that was Ninja Turtles. Finally beat it after 32 freaking years. So, I'm very happy about that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, that was for you, Key. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.